What is up, guys? This is Ryan Maniac V2, and this is gonna be a Cinema 4D tutorial today. Um, I'm gonna show you how to use uh, a very useful tool called the Bool tool. Uh, you can do a lot of things with this. I used it in my Lightroom. You can use it in modeling and all this stuff. So this is just a basic tutorial to help you get started with some tools in Cinema 4D. So what you're gonna do first um, to demonstrate this, I'm gonna use a cube, uh, which I'm gonna turn into like a, a wall sort of thing. So I'm gonna make my cube. Uh, longer and I'm going to go to the top view and make my cube uh, thinner. So now I'm going to go back to the perspective, this normal, this uh, front view, whatever I'm going to call it, and uh, just make my wall. So I recommend just testing this out with um, a wall like I'm doing. So now that we have uh, our wall here, I'm going to go get another cube. Um, actually, I'm going to just do this sphere. So uh, to make it look cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the hit this perspective window and I'm going to make sure my ball or a sphere is centered in the middle of this wall. So it is. I'm just going to go ahead and resize it just a little bit. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring in the pool tool. And now I'm going to shift and select both of these and drag them to the pool tool. And you see uh, nothing happened. It's because you have to find the right order of your um, object. So this, in this case, the wall needs to be above the sphere. And now we have this nice cutout. And you can go ahead and move uh, the bool tool. Don't move. If you move the sphere, this is what happens. That's a cool effect too, but uh, I don't think you'll be wanting to do that uh, as much as you want to move the whole object. So this is really what the bool tool does. It allows you to make cutouts. Now uh, I could, instead of switching these two around, um, I can go to the bool tool and hit B subtract A or uh, intersect B and then it does all these weird things um, like that, I don't know, it's it's weird. You can do all these different things uh, with the bool tool and uh, but yeah, if something's not working for you just find the uh, find the right uh, order of objects and it should work. So, um, yeah, anyways, um, this has been a bool tool tutorial. You can uh, do this with uh, any other object. I could do it with a polygon, or another polygon, or uh, sorry, not a polygon. I could do this with a cone, and uh, it would look kind of weird, but uh, still work, anyways and uh, kind of weird, but whatever. And uh, so yeah, that's the tutorial, guys. You can uh, rotate the bool tool, uh, the bool object, and uh, you see it works pretty good. So uh, there you go, guys, this is the bool tool. Um, my next tutorial, I'll be showing you probably how to use Metaball. Um, or yeah, if you have a request, please ask me. I will learn how to do it if I don't know how to do it already. And I will show a tutorial for you guys. So thanks, guys. and. See you next time.